Hello, my name is Rob Hagen, and I'm here at Time Savers. And behind me, I would like to introduce to you our brand new 41 series Trident machine, which is a 52 inch wide uh, wet processing format. I would like to show you our new feature here on the Trident machine. We ha do have a Siemens uh, interface, very intuitive, very easy to navigate. Um, we can control, so we do have an auto start feature on here. We do have recipe storage, so we can go ahead and pre-program up to uh, probably more than a thousand different programs or part numbers. Once we have the part number or recipe identified here and pulled up into the system, we can go ahead and hit auto start and the machine will automatically start up depending on the recipe that is programmed in there. Uh, we also do have a manual mode. So if you did not want to use the recipes, you can go ahead and control each you know, head or bed position controller the coolant pump, air knife dryer, all individually if you wanted to. Um, we also have our setup mode here for setting up the machines for recalibrating the bed. We also have a maintenance screen here so we can preload, we can predetermine uh, abrasive belt wear. Let's and pre-program that and then it will give us an error, or not an error, but uh, a message saying that the abrasive belt needs to be changed. Um, we also have an error log here for the maintenance so we can kind of figure out what's going on with the machine. The touch screen here is very intuitive. Um, you know, for the longest time we've always been doing push buttons, but um, I like the fact that we're moving to the HMI uh, interface here. All right, this is the belt loading side of the machine or the outboard. Um, I really do like this machine here because it is wide open. Uh, it's not too cluttered inside. It is very easy to get in here and maintain the machine, fix the machine, see what's going on. Obviously, we do have a plexiglass door here so we can see in the machine while it is being run, while we're running it, so you can always see what's going on inside. Um, this is a wet processing machine. There are some advantages here. With a wet processing machine, we can definitely go ahead and mix metals. Uh, you can see here we do have spray headers for both heads. They are pointed right at the point of contact. Um, Having it in a wet environment here, we are able to keep the parts cool. We are able to mix metals, uh, aluminum, copper, stainless steel, carbon steel, things like that. And also being in a wet environment here, we are able to increase the belt life by as much as five times. So the cost of using the machine is a lot lower than a dry machine. Um, this machine also does have a reverse scene conveyor on it. So um, we can process parts through this machine and then once they come back, we can actually bring it back through to the infeed side again and take a second pass if need be for um, some dimensioning work or maybe some finishing work on tube steel. Um, I do have some tube steel here and I will run it through here later on in this video to show you its capabilities. Also on this unit here, we do have pop-up heads. We do have a dead shaft design. Um, so we can actually pop these heads up or down from the control panel here. So, you know, there might be some jobs where you only need one head. Um, you can go ahead and take the second head up out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. Or you can drop it down, put it into the grinding line right away. But you do have manual adjustments here to raise and lower the contact drum depending on the thickness of abrasive belt. Underneath the machine here, Another advantage of a wet processing machine, we do not have a second or uh, a standalone dust collection unit. This is all self-contained. We do have a filtration unit underneath with filter paper. So as we're doing processing, all the swarf from the machine here will come down into the drain pan, get filtered through the filter paper, and then redistributed through the filter tank up through the manifolds back to the spray headers. Um, on the back side here, when the filter paper becomes loaded with swarf, there is a float switch on here. So it can automatically advance the filtration paper and then dump it into this um, container here for disposal. We also do have a manual uh, jog um, feed for the filter for the filter paper also. On the back of the machine here, I'd like to highlight our air knife dryer also. Uh, we have an air knife dryer on the bottom and also on the top, along with squeegee rolls. This will clean the parts and also dry the parts as they exit the machine. Um, I've removed the cover here so you guys can see what's going on inside. We also have an over thick bar here for the parts going uh, for the reversing conveyor to bring the parts back through for a second pass. 
Uh, it's just a safety feature here for the return conveyance. Um, here is our standalone blower unit. This is for the air knife dryer itself. Uh, a couple flex ducts here connected to the machine and that's what keeps your parts dry. As we move to the back of the machine here, pretty simple. This door is not interlocked. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it is interlocked. So uh, if the machine is running, the door is open, the machine will go ahead and shut down. But as you can see here, we do have our tracking, our pop-up cylinders, our eccentrics for the drums. Everything is very easily accessible here. Um, also along with our um, oil, uh, grease system here for the high speed bearings. Down below is our manifold. This is taking the coolant from the uh, filtration unit and then redistributing it back to the spray headers. We do have blowout valves or blowout plugs here in case we want to black, back blow it out uh, for clogging. Um, pneumatic, the main air regulator here to the machine. Then we also have some quick disconnects for the filtration unit itself, uh, the coolant pump motor, and then also the filtration, the filter paper advanced motor. We can go ahead and uh, quickly disconnect these here. This filtration unit will go ahead and roll out on canisters, uh, casters for ease of serviceability. <laughs> Bye.